in their friendly international against Finland at the Hazley Crawford Stadium yesterday. It was an encouraging performance, however, from the young team coached by Hudson Charles and Angus Eve, despite the fact that they twice gave up the lead to end up on the wrong side of a 3-2 scoreline. Jesse Marie has more. A sparsely populated uncovered stand, fans clearly still skeptical about whether or not the Soka Warriors could get the flag flying proudly once again. Onto the field and the young squad was showing signs that indeed they could. There was the odd scale too. For instance, the skipper Marvin Phillip beaten to the second header, but backed up by his defense. For the most part though, the Warriors looked able to hold their own. This raid was reason for excitement. Malino, Jack Deo Singh, Clyde Leon and Richard Roy all involved. Jovan Jones' shot blocked though. And soon enough, there would be a goal. A defensive collaboration this one as Curtis Williams pumped it to see on power and McKeel Williams was there for the tap-in. But before the small Hazley Crawford spectatorship could quieten, Finland hit back. Rico Risky with the spectacular volley won all at half-time. In the second, they started with a clearer intent, fashioning several chances as a result. Then it was TNT going close a few times themselves Jones's ball across goal causing concern and Sean De Silva just seconds on as a substitute linking with Molino before the spectacular attempt and then the goal three more substitutes in Jean-Luc Rushford, Willis Plaza and Devon Josling all involved before Molino finished into an unguarded net Finland called upon Marvin Phillips once again before they eventually level scores Tony Coleminen, the goal scorer, and the comeback completed in the 78th minute as Aritalo scored a diving header from seven yards out. Finland going on to record a 3-2 come from behind win. Reporting for CNC3 Sports, I am Jassi.